Hi friends, in this video, we are going to solve a problem on synchronous condenser. Let's see how it is. An industrial insulation having installation, installation having an induction motor with 2000 kilowatts from a three phase 3300 volt supply at 0.8 power factor lagging. It is designed to improve the power factor from 0.8 to 0.9 by using synchronous condenser. Here, the aim is that we have to improve the power factor from 0.8 lagging to the 0.9 lagging by using a synchronous condenser. Then determine rating of the synchronous condenser. First question. We have to determine the rating of synchronous condenser. Here, assume the KW of synchronous condenser is zero. They given exactly. And total KVA is equals to how much? This is the question they asked. Okay. So let's see here what they given. Induction motor KW is given. KW of induction motor is equals to 2000. And power factor of induction motor is equals to 0.8 lagging. Nothing but what is the power factor angle for 0.8? For 0.8, the power factor angle is 36.86 degrees. And uh, we have to find out KVR of synchronous condenser. This is our aim because KW already is 0. This is only the rating of synchronous condenser. And they given the combined combined power factor they given. The combined power factor is equals to 0.9 lagging. Nothing but what is the combined power factor angle? Can you tell me? Cos inverse of 0.9. Cos inverse of 0.9 is equals to 25.84 degrees. So we have to find out combined KW and combined KVAR. If you know these two, then you can find the combined KVA. This is our actual answer. So see here, for example, this is my induction motor. It's KW of induction motor. KVAR of induction motor, KVA of induction motor, power factor angle of induction motor. Here, the power factor angle they given 36.86 degrees because 0.8 lagging they given. But here, synchronous condenser is added. When synchronous condenser is added, this is KVAR of synchronous condenser. Okay, so then it's combined to diagram is like this. This is combined KW and this is combined KVR and this is combined KVA and this is combined power factor angle. We know the power combined power factor angle. So let's tell me what is combined KW? Combined KW is equals to KW of induction motor plus KW of synchronous condenser. What is that? KW of induction motor plus KW of synchronous condenser. Nothing but KW of induction motor 2000 plus synchronous condenser 0. So the combined KW is equals to 2000. It is clear. Right? Now we want what is the KVAR of induction motor? What is KVAR of induction motor? Tell me KVAR of induction motor for that tan theta. What is theta? Tan of 36.86 degrees is equals to tan is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse. What is opposite? 
KVAR of induction motor by KV KV what is opposite by adjacent right so KW of induction motor from this the KW of induction motor is nothing but 2000 if you calculate this you can get the KVAR of induction motor is 1500 this is a KVAR of induction motor 1500 now what is KVAR of combined induction motor 1500 but what about combined so here also we can find tan theta tan of 25.84 degrees is equals to same opposite by adjacent what is opposite kvar of combined and what is adjacent kw what is kw 2000 if you calculate this then you can get the combined kvar the combined kvar is equals to you will get the combined kvr 968.56 968.56 for example if you take as 969 this is what the combined kw kvar 969 okay so induction motor is 1500 the combined is 969. Then what is synchronous condenser KVAR? KVAR of synchronous condenser is equals to the induction motor minus synchronous condenser is equals to combined. But combined value we know that. Then what is the synchronous condenser value? Nothing but the total, sorry, for induction motor minus combined then you will get the value for synchronous condenser how much uh, 531 kvar is for synchronous condenser for synchronous condenser the kvar is 531 the first question is completed what is the next question the total kva is Sir, how we can find total KVA? We know the total KW, we know the total KVR. So, total KVA is equals to square root of total KW is nothing but 2000 square plus total KVR is nothing but 969 square. If you calculate like this, you will get that Combined KVA rating is equals to around 2222.2 KVA. This is the answer. 2222.2 KVA is a combined KVA, total KVA. Like this, we have to do the answers. Very simple here. We have a power factor angle and KW, then find the KVA. Here also power factor and KW, so we have to find the KVR. From subtraction of these two, we can get the synchronous condenser KVR. And combined KVA, if you want the combined KVA, how we can? It's very simple, the square root of KVA, KW square of combined plus KVR square of combined. Very simple question is this. Getting that now? Right? Like these questions are important for competitive exams, but you must require a calci calculator. Without calculator, you can't do. So the virtual calculator practice is very important for gate exam. Otherwise, of course, you know what is the process to do, but you don't know the values directly. You have to must and should use that calculator so be careful here in this case we assume synchronous condenser kw0 if they given the kw of synchronous condenser is 1000 
Then again, the KW is increased as 2000 plus 1000, 3000, like that. That is called synchronous motor operation. You have to do this is very, very important question for competitive exam. Okay, thank you.